what's going on guys welcome to another episode of the next level series i hope that everyone is all blessed i just want to say as well a massive thank you to everyone who've been supporting the channel uh, recently i can see the number of subscribers be going up crazy in the last four or five weeks and we went from 429 subscribers to i think right now we're like on 476 or 77 subscribers and the goal by the end of the year is to reach a thousand subscribers so thank you very much keep supporting keep showing love if you're new to the channel welcome and feel free to watch all my previous episodes and feel free to subscribe if you want to you know support the channel and make sure you don't miss any future episode that i'll be dropping this year and also massive shout out to my boy ian and um, who allowed me to record the session for you guys so thank you ian for that um hopefully you guys will enjoy this episode so i'm pushing ian through a leg session and mainly a quad session and um, hopefully by the end of this um, episode you guys will be able to go to the gym and try the exact routine if you want to feel free to try it and then um, see how your legs feel all right so let's go uh, so when it comes to leg day, you know, I love to start with the isolation movement. Um, it's a great way for me to pre-exhaust the muscle and it's a great way to make sure that your joints are ready before moving to any heavy compound exercise or any heavy press exercise, you know, start with the isolation movement. So this way by the end of your set on the isolation, isolation movement, your legs are warmed up, they're ready to go and um, this way you have, you know, you're reducing the risk of you know having injuries and um, throughout the workout so on the quad day i love to start with the leg extension and to be more uh, precise single leg extension superset with both leg extension and uh, we're doing 15 reps with one leg 15 reps with the other and then 15 reps with both legs and by the end so we're doing four working set so that's 45 reps in four in one set so if i do my math is right it's like 45 times 290 so that's 180 reps by the end of the first exercise the reason why i start with single leg extension is because there's always one side or one leg that's stronger than the other than the other you you will notice the same thing on arm there's always one arm that is a bit stronger than the other so to do the single leg extension um you're working on reducing the imbalance between both legs and um, then we do the both leg extension and when I tell Ian to do the both leg extension, I always tell him to hold two seconds at the top. So it's 15 reps with one leg, start with which whatever leg you want to start, and then move to superset with both leg extension. Make sure that you hold two seconds at the top each reps. Even if it burns, keep going, keep going, keep going, because that's the difference. If you stop when it starts burning, if you stop when it starts feeling like the pain is too much, you're losing gains. That's where the gains start to come. When you feel the burn, when you feel it's painful, and you do those extra reps on top, that's when you know that you're working. So, full working set, we don't count the warm set, so full working set, single leg extension, super set with both leg extension. If you do it properly, especially with the two leg extension, where you hold two seconds at the top, <laughs> by, the, by the time you finish your full working set, you're gonna think that's your leg workout done, but you're just getting started. Right now, we're just pre exhausting the muscle. I, I usually call this like a pre warm up. That's, that's how I like to mess about with, with it. I call it a pre warm up because that's what I do before I go to the you know, heavy compound exercise. So, when it comes to this exercise as well, you're not gonna be able to stack the whole machine. Um, but make sure you take a weight that's going to challenge you. You don't want to do 15 reps easy. So, when I say 15 reps in my head, it's like I want you to feel like after eight and nine reps it feels like shit i still got that much that many more reps to do i don't want to do 15 reps easy the 15 reps needs to be challenging all the way all right guys so once again full working set of single leg extension 15 reps each super set with both leg extension two second hold at the top feel the burn feel the pump and then yeah thank me later <laughs>
All right, so we move into exercise number two. We're staying on the leg extension. We pre-exhausted the muscle with the single leg and both leg. Now we keep going the same way, but we're doing both leg extension. So we're increasing the weight. So we're capable of putting more weight, but we're keeping the two second hold at the top. All about the control, all about the mind muscle connection, feeling the muscle working. If I told Ian to do full set and 12 reps at a normal tempo, he could easily put the whole stack easy. Because I tell him to do that two second hold, it changes everything, all right? So once again, make sure you put a weight that's gonna challenge you, put a weight that's gonna make you work. Forget the fact that it's gonna burn, forget the fact that it's, you're gonna feel the pain, that's what you're looking for, that's what you want, that's what you know that you're working. You can see right now, you can see the pump on his legs, the quads are working, it's fully focused on the control, fully focused on making sure that it's holding two seconds at the top. When you do this properly, you really, really feel the quads, you really feel the leg working, all right? So full working set, 12 reps. And the last set, you guys are gonna see, I told the Ian to do a drop down set. At, that, at this stage, his legs are fried, right? So his legs are tired. So instead of doing 12 reps, I tell him to do five. The first five reps will be two second hold at the top. And then after that, I tell him to do as many as he can, even partials. At this stage, partials count, all right? My approach when it comes to trading is that every reps count. I don't care if it's a small partial. Partial for me is a great way, especially if you do partials on a drop down set, it's a great way to squeeze the last drop of energy that you have left. That's the purpose of a drop down set. You want to make sure that you squeeze everything that you have left, that at the end of the set, you can really tell yourself, I couldn't do anymore. All right? So that's what we're aiming for on this, on this exercise on the last working set. So feel free to try full working set. 12 reps, two second hold at the top, and make sure that you do a drop down set at the end. All right, so we move into exercise number three. Now his joints are ready, his legs are ready for a leg press, all right? So that's what I meant at the start of this episode. Make sure you pre-exhaust the muscle. Make sure that you warm those joints up properly with the isolation movement before moving to a sort of compound or like a leg press exercise or a squat, you know? So this way, your legs are ready to smash it, all right? So leg press, exercise number three. Uh, we're doing full working set. Once again, leg press is one of those exercises where, you know, it's easy to just put a lot of, of rep and just, a, a lot of weight and just wrap it up, all right? But 
the name of the game that day was all about control, control, control. That's one of the leg extension. We had a two second hold on the leg press. What we're doing, we're doing negative reps. So on the way down, you can see I'm counting to three. I even tell him if he does it a bit faster, I tell him, look, next one, make sure that you do it slower. All about muscle control. You can see he's feeling the burn on his on his hamstrings. So the leg press, great exercise for you know, not just quads, but your glutes are working, your hamstrings are working. Especially when you do it at a very, very slow tempo, the way Ian is doing, like a three second on the way down, nice negative, a good range of motion. It's different, all right? So once again, if I told Ian to do four sets, 10 reps at a normal tempo, he will have put a lot more weight. So feel free to try four working sets, 10 reps, 8 to 10 reps, we aim for 10, all right? All about the control, negative, nice, three second tempo on the way down, go up, control. And once again, all about the control, okay? So this is exercise number three, leg press, four working sets. All right, so we move into exercise number four, which was actually the last um, quad exercise of the day. So we move to a walking lunges, and uh, to be more precise, uh, it's a double pose walking lunges. Um, so at this stage, you know, Ian is knocked out, he's, he's done, he's tired, he's, he's ready to go home, but he needs to do four sets of this first. So one, one set is literally back and forth, um, it's maybe five or six um, lunges on the way and then five, six lunges on the way back. Um, yeah, so that's that's how we finish the, the leg session. Um, usually when I do my legs, you see I do like hack squat or squat or, you know, and this just shows how you can have an excellent, a very simple, but effective leg session, quad focused leg session without um, squatting or doing hack squats. Like personally, I've just recently started to squat a few months ago. For the last five years before that, I didn't do a single squat because of back um, issues. But now that my issues are gone, I can squat again. Um, but yeah, this hopefully this um, episode was helpful for you guys. Feel free to try it. Um, yeah, I'm just looking back and I can see Ian is, Ian is gone, he's knocked out. But yeah, four working set of the lunges, feel free to try. So we started with a single leg extension, super set with both leg extension, and then we moved to a both leg extension, then we moved to a leg press and then finish with um, double pose walking lunges. Uh, we also did some um, calves a press at the end, um, but I didn't have enough um, space to record. So yeah, that's the full workout. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a comment, uh, feel free to share, feel free to subscribe. And uh, once again, massive thank you to everyone supporting the channel. Massive thank you to Ian for, for pushing the, in the workout and allowing me to record the, the workout for you guys. And yeah, so it's not the first, it's not the last, shall I say, time that you guys are going to see um, me and Ian train in, in, in this channel. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Once again, catch you guys in the next episode. Stay motivated, keep grinding, keep working towards your goals. And I'll catch you guys very soon. Peace.